Yeah. Yeah. Be running through the city, city on my backpack. Then ain't nothing changed but the money on my lap, lap two. I'm in the gang, gang time till it's over, till it's over, till it's over, till it's over, till it's over. I be running through the city, city on my backpack. Then ain't nothing changed but the money on my lap, lap two. I'm in the gang till it's over, till it's over, till it's over. My name is Kara Consuegra. I'm starting my fourth season at the, as the head coach of the Charlotte 49ers. Um, previous stops that I've had, I played basketball at the University of Iowa. Uh, I was fortunate enough to play in the WNBA for the Utah Stars. Um, then I went to Penn State University and served in their basketball uh, office and got my master's degree. And then I was an assistant coach at Marquette University for seven years. Our summer basketball workouts, we really have had focus on probably three different areas in, 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 in particular. Uh, specifically, just general skill development. So we like to spend a lot of our, our time, I'd say particularly in the first half of the summer, just doing general skill development in terms of our footwork and shooting, uh, improving uh, individual players, um, helping them to develop different moves, counter moves, um, any deficiencies in their games individually. Uh, we spend a lot of time doing that and trying to just work on individual improvement that will help the team eventually down the line. Um, second area is defensively. Uh, we were coming off a season where we were disappointed with the job we did on the defensive end, and so we worked really hard on our footwork, our stance, uh, our first step explosion, uh, cutting off the dribbler and uh, just work on having much quicker feet. And I think we've done a great job of that as coaches on the court, but also Skyler, uh, Farley, our strength coach, with the work he's been doing with agility. So that's been a, a huge emphasis. Um, in the third area, we've made some changes to our offense. Uh, we've ran pretty much the same things over the first three years. And we just have a little bit different team, different personnel, and wanted to open up the floor a little bit more and make some changes to, to create better spacing and better opportunities to take advantage of some of the strengths of our players. So we've, so we've been working particularly in the second half of the summer on uh, just teaching the basics of what we're looking to do offensively. I think for us, we don't try to focus a ton on that outcome, although certainly that's important. You know, our goal at Charlotte every year is to make a postseason tournament. Uh, the NCAA tournament is preferred. Um, we want to strive to win a championship. And so certainly all of that's important, but I say at the same time, we don't let the outcome, um, positive or negative, affect the process of what we're doing. You know, I think it's more looking at where we may have deficiencies or where we feel like we can make improvements, and that will tweak what we're doing. But, you know, overall, we're, we're pretty confident with the process we have and how we're doing things here at Charlotte. Uh, this is a great class, and we're really excited about the three of them. Um, Griffin Dempsey, point guard out of West Virginia, has really come in with high expectations, and she's doing a great job. I mean, we're, we're looking forward to um, kind of starting a new era here with our first um, big change in the point guard position in our time here. And uh, she came really prepared. She's working extremely hard, and uh, is doing a great job. So we're looking forward to her. Amaya Ransom out of the uh, Virginia Beach area. Uh, big long guard. I think Niner fans will really like her game. Really smooth shot. Um, She's come in and worked hard. She's getting better and better in her conditioning. She's had a little setback with a hand injury that slowed her down a little bit, but has a great attitude as in attacking everything that she's capable of attacking um, while being a little bit limited. So uh, I'm proud of just the attitude that she's come in with um, in regards to that. And then Mitchell McCoy out of Fayetteville, North Carolina, kind of a diamond in the rough. So I think somebody that uh, wasn't on a lot of people's radar recruiting-wise. and. We fell in love with her when we saw her play, and she's done a tremendous job uh, adjusting to this level, uh, picking up her pace and her intensity, and just her motivation uh, to be great. She's been really coachable, and uh, she's doing a fantastic job. So I think it's I think it's early to really know how they'll compare to other groups. I think um, they've transitioned well, which is always a, a positive and points in the direction that you know they'll have an opportunity to in impact this program. Uh, they have great attitudes, they're buying into the, the program and the system, and all that's positive right now.
Well, I think we just want to be in a better place than we were at this time last year. Um, you know, we want to put ourselves, uh, every summer we want to attack it with the, with the intention of how do we put ourselves in the best position to be successful. And, um, you know, I feel like we've done that, again, between the work that Skyler's done in the weight room and conditioning and uh, Jen Whittingham's done in our uh, training room with different rehab and getting people stronger in those areas and then our coaching staff. I, I mean, I think, I think we've done that. And, and, again, we don't want to get too far down the road and start talking about a championship or start talking about our record and what games we should win or lose. We're not about that here. We're about trying to get better every day. And if we can wake up tomorrow and say we were better than yesterday, and continue that pattern, then that's really how you set yourself up for success. So that's been our focus.